Hey there YouTube, this is Quick Steps here and today I will be bringing you a TDM on Scrapyard. So today I'm using the TAR21 holographic site with Scavenger Pro, Stompower Pro and Ninja Pro. Now I'm not going to talk about the gameplay for the first couple of minutes, I'm just going to tell you guys who I am and hopefully what I want to accomplish on YouTube. So basically I've been part of Gaming Label since the start, I've been on the director's list since Gaming Level has had about 16 subscribers. I haven't been very active because I haven't had anything to record with really. My Dazzle, when I had it, failed miserably. I, re I could record like one or two games and then it just muck up and then Pinnacle would just fail and oh god, it was just terrible. Yeah, I've actually been able to record games. I'm currently recording for commentaries and gameplays at the moment. Um, oh god, I've just blanked completely. Right, commentaries, gameplays, and I'll be posting them on my channel. So yeah, it'd be great if you could come check me out. So on with the gameplay. I'm using Scavenger, Stopping Power, and Ninja. It's pretty a pretty basic class really. I'm using Scavenger so I can pick up ammo again and replenish my claymores. Uh, Stopping Power because well, you really need to use Stopping Power, I guess, to get two hit kills with the tar and ninja with if you're like me and you've got a headset i've actually got a turtle beach xlc's and it amazes me how people don't use ninja like i'll be able to hit let's say they're running around with steady aim or something i'll be able just to hear them wait for them to come around the corner and then just kill them it's so useful in something like search and destroy but it's still equally as useful in any other game mode like tdm or domination and i'm using stuns because they're just best thing to use they're much quicker to throw now, I've put on... Well, no, why am I using the TAR, in fact? Well, the TAR is probably my favourite assault rifle. It's got high power, one of the highest... Oh, that's my phone going off. It's got high power, one of the highest powers assault rifle. It's got one of the fastest rates of fire for assault rifle. And downside to this is it's got a bit of a kick to it. But if you put on the holographic sight or anything, it just gets rid of it. I was quite pretty lucky there. I got the drop shot on the guy. Right, where was I? Um, TAR-21. I usually use FMJ or Silencer with it, but for this game I thought, why not use a holographic, see what it's like, and it is pretty beast. <laughs> I found out using this game. So, my kill streaks are Predator, Harrier, and AC-130. I usually use Pavlo instead of AC-130, but I'm trying to get the emblem at the moment. Um, I've got all the emblems for the kill streaks, except for the AC, the EMP, and the nuke. And yeah, I am level 70 10th prestige legit I did not hack that I haven't hacked any of my stats or any attachments or emblems or call signs or anything to be honest I I sort of just pity hackers really it's just like you can't you can't be bothered to be good at this game so you've just got to hack it's you know pretty pointless really in my opinion but anyway so with my AC 130 at the moment I'm just sort of Picking off anyone I can. I don't do particularly well with this. I mean, I get a couple of kills, but and that double gets pinched by the pred. Um, so where was I? Gameplays, commentaries. Oh yeah. So what sort of player I am? Well, I've got a 2.06 KDR at the moment. I used to have a 2.10, but I just sort of gave up on kill to death because there are so many hackers. The leaderboards just really don't mean anything at the moment. I mean, I've got I got to 10th prestige in. 19 days, I think, no, 18 days I got 10th prestige and it, I find it quite funny sometimes when people just call me a hacker I just laugh and it's like, well, no I'm not <laughs> I mean, most of the time if I go into a game I'll just mute everyone I've given up trying to argue with the oh so many little kids that are out there who think they're optic hex or whatever like, oh god, I hate little kids <laughs> so, the game's sort of coming to an end here I've, here I'm a bit too far on their spawn. I mean, sometimes I go for games where I just try and go for as big a kill feed as I can. But this game, I thought, no, I'm going to play play smart, be a bit slow, you know, build up my kill streak. Ooh, and here I get a nice little double spray. See, that's why you don't go down like clump together down like a little space like that. It's just silly. Get the Harriers here, and I call them in. So I hope this game hasn't been too slow pace, I wouldn't say it's really slow pace, but I do sort of play a bit too 
defensively, I'd say. I don't want to say camping because I'm not camping, you know. Um, I'm just playing smart, really, I guess. So anyway, that's a game there. I get, in the end, 27 to 1, which I think is a pretty good KDR. That's 27 <laughs> kill to death ratio. And I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. And thank you, Gaming Label, for letting me post. Alright, cheers, guys.